A single postage stamp costs 44 cents. How much would a roll of 1,000 stamps cost? So we're going to have 1,000 stamps, 1,000 stamps, and each of them cost 44 cents. So we can multiply the 1,000 stamps times 44 times, let me write that a little neater, times 44 cents per stamp. And then we just have to multiply the two numbers. Now, when you first multiply decimals, you can just pretend like they're whole numbers and then worry about the decimals later. So we could view this as 1,000 times 44 and then worry about the decimals. So what's 1,000 times 44? You could work it out. You could say, OK, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 1 is 1,000, or 4 times 1 is 4, and you'd get 4,000 here, and then you'd put a 0 here, and you'd multiply that, and you'd get 40,000, you'd add it all up. But I think we know from experience dealing with multiplying by powers of 10 or by multiples of 10 that you really 44 times 1,000 is just 44,000. So we could just write it out here. So 44 times 1,000 is 44, 44, let me not put a comma there just yet, 44, 44,000. That's 44 times 1,000. Now, this isn't 44, this is 0.44. So in both numbers that we're multiplying, we have exactly, we have exactly one, two numbers to the right of the decimal. So our answer, our product, has to have two numbers to the right of the decimal. So we count from the right, we count 1, 2, stick the decimal right there. So our answer is 440, and these trailing zeros really add nothing there. So 1,000 times 0.44, or 44 cents really, is 440. Or it's going to cost us $440 to buy 1,000 stamps, which makes sense. Because 0.44, think about it. It's it's well, it's a little bit less than half. 0.5 would be half. So this is a little bit less than half of a thousand dollars. Half would be 500. This is a little bit less.